Hello everyone. Let's solve this um, equation very quickly. We have square root of x plus 2x equals 3. You're welcome to FUCO Mathematics. And here what we do is to solve math problems into detail. Okay, so sit back and watch. Now, what we are going to do now is to take 2x to the other side, right? So I have square root of x to be equal to 3 minus 2x. And then the next thing you do is to remove this square root from here by squaring both sides. We are going to square this as a term. And then square root and square will cancel so x will be equal to 3 minus 2x in two places 3 minus 2x now what i'm going to do is to open the bracket so x will be equal to 3 times 3 we'll have 3 okay that is 9 we have 9 over there then 3 times minus 2x we have minus 6x then minus 2x times 3 will have minus 6x then minus 2x times minus 2x we're going to have plus 4x squared okay so let's continue so that we have x equal to 9 minus 12x plus 4x squared now this is what i want to do i want to write everything from here now so we're going to have 4x squared right this is minus 12x right now i want to bring in um this x so it has to become negative and then i have plus 9 to be equal to 0. Now if I continue then 4x squared minus okay minus um, 13x plus 9 is equal to 0. Now what formula do we use to solve? What method do we use for this quadratic equation? We can solve this by factorization because if you multiply 4 and 9 you're going to have 36 right and this 36 is the same thing as minus um, minus 9 times minus um, 4 right so this will give us the 36 over here and then minus 9 minus 4 will give us minus 13 so therefore we can just work with this so that we have 4x squared then here i'm going to write minus 4x then minus 9x then plus 9 equal to 0 okay because minus 4x minus 9x will give us minus 13x and then minus 4 times minus 9 will give us this 36 here. Now we are going to group into 2 and factorize. Let's factorize this 2. 4x is common to both of them. So 1x will be here. Minus the whole of 4x has come out but 1 will be there. Then here their common factor is going to be 9. So I write minus 9 because of this then here we have x then 9 divided by minus 9 we're going to have minus 1 and this is equal to 0 right so that if we continue from here then we factorize x minus 1 is common to both of them x minus 1 is a factor then here for x will be left minus um, 9 over there and this is equal to 0 and then we'll use zero product rule 
and that says it is either x minus 1 is equal to 0 or 4x minus 9 is equal to 0. Mm -hmm. So from here now, x will be equal to 0 plus 1, which is 1. Or on this side, x will be equal to 9. Okay, it's actually 4x here. Yeah? 4x will be equal to 0 plus 9. And then from here, our x will be equal to 9 over 4. So x is equal to 1 or x is equal to 9 over 4. Now in conclusion, x is equal to 1 or 9 over 4. But then let's check these two values and see if we are going to be correct. The original equation is square root of x plus 2x equals 3. Now, in place of square root of x, I will have square root of 1 plus 2 times 1. Okay, now square root of 1 is 1. Okay, square root of 1 is 1 and then 2 times 1 is 2. This will give us 3, right? And this means that x equal to 1 is very correct. Now, let's try x equal to 9 over 4. The equation still remains square root of x plus 2x equals 3. Now, in place of square root of x, I will have square root of 9 over 4. Then plus, um, we have 2 multiply by 9 over 4. Now, will this give us 3? Let me work it there. Now, square root of 9 over 4 will give us 3 over 2. Because square root of 9 is 3 and square root of 4 is 2. Then plus 2 can go there. So we have 2 over here. And we are having 9 over 2. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So let's start this from here. Now, LCM is um, actually 2. The LCM is 2. Then... We are going to add what we have, 3 plus 9, and this will give us 12 over 2. Okay, this will give us um, 12 over 2, and then from 12 over 2, we are going to have 6. Now, what does this mean? We are having 3 over here, and now we are having 6, and this means that um, x is equal to 9 over 4, does not satisfy the given equation thank you for watching so the only true solution now is x equal to one thank you for watching